Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Residence Commission. Now we have discussed another amazing lecture on advanced neighbor reaction. So that is um, second category, CC single bond formation reactions. CC single bond formation reactions. So in this lecture, we are uh, considered uh, some of the palladium catalyzed reactions like uh, Suzuki, Heck, Sonagasira, like a still a still a carbonylation, negation coupling, butchow dartwick reaction, such type of couplings we have discussed over here. So all the reactions it requires a palladium as a catalyst. Palladium as a catalyst. In this lecture, we are discussed about uh, so the need the neediness of the palladium catalyst. Why you used the palladium catalyst only in the CC single bond catalyzed reactions? Okay. Now the Im importance of palladium catalyzed reactions as well as so available available compounds available palladium uh, catalyzed complexes like palladium PPH3 taken four times palladium DPPF such type of ligands okay we are considered those complexes in this lecture okay so now let us go through the palladium catalyst so here generally palladium catalyst it exhibits a uh, two stable oxidation states two stable oxidation states okay so now here one is a uh, zero oxidation state another one is a plus two oxidation state zero oxidation state another one is a plus two oxidation state so here zero oxidation state that means here it is belongs to nickel category nickel palladium platinum so now here nickel configuration is a like a 4s2 3d8 okay so palladium means 5s2 4d8 so palladium 5s2 4d8 that means here the zero oxidation state all the ligands are present over the D only that's why it's shown the D10 character D10 electronic character now here plus 2 means among these 10 electrons uh, 2 electrons are lost that means here the 2 electrons lost from the 5s orbital now we will get the D8 configuration that is a D8 configuration so D10 configuration means it is electronically rich compound electronically rich compound that's why it is a simply nucleophilic character palladium zero oxidation state will show the nucleophilic character when compared to the like a d8 configuration it it it, it, it uh, having the like electrophilic nature whenever we will consider the those complexes electronic uh, like 18 electron rule so 16 electronic complexes will show the electrophilic nature okay we will discuss over the 18 electron formation here okay now let us discuss the, some of the synthesis of uh, palladium complexes uh, uh, plus two as well as zero configuration complexes now here palladium pph3 taken four times palladium cl2 pph3 taken twice okay now here it is called a tetrakis triphenyl phosphine palladium zero complex now here like a uh, bis triphenyl phosphine dichloro first dichloro then after bis tetra uh, triphenyl phosphine palladium two complexes now here palladium in zero oxidation state here palladium in two or plus two oxidation state so palladium zero uh, here it is the d10 configuration according to our previous discussion okay now here palladium two means that is a d8 configuration here d10 configuration okay now phosphine ligands the presence of phosphine ligands uh, they are uh, um, uh, they are sending their electron cloud to the metal atom that means uh, here electronically rich nucleophile it is electronically rich nucleophile now here d8 in this d8 configuration so here it is a electronically deficient deficient that means it is electrophile that is it is electrophile why because it is electrophile so according to the 18 electron complexes the 18 electron complex is more stable that means according to the like octet configuration similar to the octet configuration whenever the compound or uh, like a, a molecule which attains the octet configuration then it is stable that means a noble gas configuration now in case of a uh, d block transitional metal elements it it requires uh, its uh, its attention is to get the 18 electron complex uh, to get the 18 electron stability now here palladium is a d10 configuration that means 10 electrons okay each phosphenyl ligand that means here this is the parent of an NH3 like a PH3 that say this is the parent of these groups that means here it having the lone pair of electrons so the, each and every ligand donates their lone pair of electrons 4 to 0 8 electrons that means here 18 electrons so it is the stablest compound okay now in case of uh, chlorines here the oxidation uh, d8 now each chlorine uh, donate two electrons in oxidation method calculation now here two chlorines are four electrons two phenyls are four electrons totally it is a 16 electron totally it is a 16 electron okay now here 18 electron complexes is more stable than that of the 16 electronic complex 16 electronic complex 
in both the cases a coordination number is 4 in both the cases a coordination in the zero case coordination number it is a coordination number is 4 okay so here it, it having the stablest configuration that's why there is no need for the addition or dissociation of the complexes okay now especially there is no need for the like associated and like a association reaction that means a oxidative addition reaction so that's why here it is a coordinatively there is no addition complexes but then it is called a saturated complex saturated complex here the maximum coordination number is maximum coordination number is 4 okay besides that here the plus 2 oxidation state here the you have only 6 electron we have only 6 16 electrons sorry okay 16 electron means it requires 2 electrons for getting the stability that means for getting the 18 electron complexes that's why here it is possible for the oxidative addition here it is possible for the oxidative addition so if there is any possible to add the sum of the compound then it is called unsaturated compound so here it is coordinatively unsaturated complex unsaturated complex okay but uh, it, it means it having it requires two electrons each ligand donated two electrons that's why so coordination number again it it, it requires more than four that means a co maximum coordination number is maximum coordination number is five coordination number is five so this is the major difference between the zero and plus two oxidation states of palladium catalyst okay now so in this case 18 electrons are stable that's why there is no need for the association like here such type of complexes prone for the like a uh, dissociate <laughs> ligand dissociation reactions ligand dissociation reactions like uh, oxidative reactions oxidation reactions like oxidative coupling reactions oxidative coupling reactions some of the insertion reaction insertion reaction so besides that uh, 16 electronic complexes and the plus 2 oxidation means it is a 16 electronic complex so it acts as a nuclear uh, like a electrophilic nature mm. so that means that there is no electron cloud uh, like much more than that of the like zero oxidation complexes it is the ele electrophilic nature electrophilic nature so now here this type of electrophilic natures are ready to form for the ligand association reactions ligand association reactions again reductive coupling reactions reductive coupling reactions so these are the best reactions regarding to the zero and plus two oxidation state so before going to the discussion about these these type of reactions now we are discussed the side ligands factor on the palladium complexes ligands factor on the palladium complexes now let us discuss here the palladium having the like a triphenyl phosphine groups that means here donates their pair of electrons towards the metal atom now here it increases the electron density on the metal metal catalyst okay now here it increases the electron density uh, electron density which is increased by the presence of triphenyl ligands that means uh, here more and more nucleophilic nature more nucleophilic uh, nature so here the more nucleophilicity will leads to the uh, undergoing the, these type of reactions okay now uh, besides that uh, on the other hand we would like to take the palladium like a pi acidic ligand here the carbonyl compound that is a more pi acidic compound so pi acidic compounds uh, they are prone for the like a uh, lowers the electron density on the filled d orbital of a metal metal palladium metal that means uh, here the lesser the electron density lesser the electron density so it reduces the reactivity it reduces the reactivity towards the like uh, this type of oxidative addition reaction so like a pa palladium triphenyl phosphine uh, ligand uh, will prone for the like more uh, more reactive towards the oxidative reaction oxidative addition reactions it reduces the reactivity towards the oxidative addition reactions so the presence of ligands also affected on the like uh, palladium catalyzed reactions now let us discuss the, some of the ligands regarding uh, uh, generally used in the palladium catalyzed reactions
Now, before going to the ligands, uh, uh, like a ligands list, now let us discuss the, some of the reactions mentioned over here, like oxidative addition, reductive elimination, like uh, association reaction, ligand like dissociation reaction, sometimes a uh, hydride transfer reaction, that means a hydropalladiation reaction. Now, first of all, we discuss the ligand dissociation reactions. Ligand dissociation reactions. Now here, ligand, that means palladium, compo palladium compound, maximum coordination number is 18, uh, 18 electrons compound, here maximum coordination number is 4. So among the 4, one of the ligand is lived, then it becomes palladium, like ligand, ligand, ligand. Each ligand having the 2 electrons, here loss of the 2 electrons, it becomes a 16 electron compound. Now again, the loss of another ligand, then it becomes a palladium, like a, like a 14 electron complex. 14 electron complex. Here the elimination of ligands are successive steps. Then it is called ligand dissociation reactions. Ligand dissociation reaction. Now the uh, stable uh, like uh, higher the higher the number of electrons to lower the number of electrons. Then it is called ligand dissociation reaction. Now besides that, uh, like uh, oxidative addition reactions. Oxidative addition reactions. So here in this case of oxidative addition re reaction means uh, the increment of uh, generally increment of uh, two units of uh, coordination number as well as and oxidation state now the increment of uh, two units of coordination number as well as oxidation state that means uh, uh, coordination number four to six three to five are like uh, such type again oxidation state is zero two plus two plus one two plus three plus two two plus four like that okay now the increment of two uh, two units of coordination number as well as oxidation state let us discuss the uh, after the ligand dissociated particles ready to prone for the oxidative addition reaction that's why the lesser number of electrons uh, here the 18 electron complex is stable that's why they, they didn't add uh, undergoes the oxidative addition reaction here 14 electrons and 16 electron complexes readily undergoes the uh, like uh, oxidative addition reaction now here palladium like uh, this type of complexes here the mainly alkyl halides ready to uh, oxidative addition products ready to gives the oxidative addition product here the palladium here r x here the l so now here the number of electrons are uh, palladium electrons are like 14 electrons now here it is a more number of electrons but according to the our definition now we need only a coordination number as well as oxidation state if the oxidation state is zero why because these two are uh, like a neutral ligands now here r minus x minus it is the plus two oxidation state zero to plus two it is a increment of two units of oxidation state now here coordination number is two here the coordination number is four so then it is called like uh, increment of uh, two units of coordination number. It is called uh, oxidative addition reactions. Okay. In generally, we absorb the, all the palladium type of catalase, uh, this type of reaction. Then it is called uh, like oxidative addition reaction. Okay. Again, uh, the reversal of the reaction. So the decrement of decrease of uh, two units of coordination number as well as uh, uh, oxidation state. Uh, then it is called uh, reductive elimination reactions. Reductive elimination reactions. Uh, like a quite uh, backward reaction, palladium, like L, L plus alkyl halide. So this is called uh, the decrease of uh, two units of coordination number, the two units of oxidation state, then it is called uh, like a reductive elimination reactions, reductive elimination reactions. Uh, now besides, uh, we would like to discuss the another reaction. Whenever the palladium complex, so palladium halide complex having the, like a palladium uh, halide complex having the, like beta hydrogen, beta hydrogen, then it undergoes the like a dehydropalladiation product, a dehydropalladiation. Now here it undergoes like this. So it becomes a C double bond C H2. Here H uh, like R plus a palladium. That means here it having the so many types of groups. Now here X, yes, uh, here it is. Dehydropalladiation, dehydropalladiation. That is beta hydride elimination reaction. Such type beta hydride dehydropalladiation. So these are the example for the beta hydride uh, elimination reactions. Now let us discuss, these are the minimum basic reactions, okay. Now palladium catalyst is a broad range of uh, research area. We didn't discuss the, all the things, but uh, I would like to uh, insert uh, some of the main and uh, useful useful topics regarding to the, our uh, competitive exams uh, I will mention over here. That's why uh, it takes uh, like a small of the, uh, small of the topics uh, regarding to the men uh, mentioned reactions, okay. Now we'll go through the, some of the ligands. Uh, uh, which are uh, regularly used in the palladium catalyzer reactions. Now let us discuss the, some of the useful ligands. 
So generally, phosphine uh, ligands are uh, ready to prone for the increasing of the electron density on palladium metal. That's why we use the general reactions at palladium. It's like a phosphine reagent. Now here it is PH3, simple phosphine. Okay, now P-methyl taken thrice, then is a trial, trimethyl phosphine. Trimethyl phosphine. Instead of that, we use the phenyl, then it is a triphenyl phosphine. Triphenyl phosphine. In case of uh, IUPAC nomenclature, already we use the term tri, that's why they are used uh, like uh, four number of uh, triphenyl phosphines are present. Then it is called a tetrakis triphenyl phosphine, such type of view. Okay, again, some of the ligands, uh, they are, uh, they are, their names are very, like, uh, very easier to remember the, those top, those names of uh, ligands. So now here, PPH2. So such type of, of ligands, uh, they are given in the, so many times, these are called uh, chelating ligands. So these are called monodentate ligands. These are called monodentate. Now here, so these here are two ligand atoms can uh, at, at, attach to the metal atom. Then it is called chelating ligands. Now here, two diphenyls, diphenyl phosphino. Okay. Now here, so diphenyls are present two times. That's why it is called as base diphenyl phosphino, diphenyl phosphino. Okay. Now here, it having the two carbon atoms. Then it is called ethane. Diphenyl phosphino ethane. Simply, it is represented as D D diphenyl phosphino D P P ethane. So then, it is called D P P E. Sometimes they are mentioned like these type of complexes. Palladium D P P E taken two times. That means here coordination number two. Why? Because it is the bidentate ligand. It is chelating ligands. Now again, D P P M. So like it is a PPH2, PPH2, okay. Now here, bis diphenyl phosphino, diphenyl phosphino methane. Why? Because here only one carbon is there, that's why it is called methane. Again, a similar type of ligands, PME2, PME2. Then it is called DM, PM, PE, DM, PE. Then it is called bis diphenyl methyl phosphino okay here i use the methyl dimethyl phosphino ethane phosphino ethane okay simply it is a diethyl why because so why i use the base so here diethyl phosphino this is the di dimethyl phosphino dimethyl phosphino it is presented two times that's why i use the base term okay all the cases it present two times that that's why i use the this okay again sometimes uh, d p p p that means it is propane compound itself it indicates it is propane p p h2 p p h2 okay now here this uh, diphenyl phosphino diphenyl phosphino okay diphenyl phosphino propane then it is called uh, d p p p d p p P. Again, we used some of the like uh, different ligands like perosine ligands. All these are uh, palladium zero complexes, not the palladium two complexes. All are palladium zero complex. DPPF. So then it is called uh, this diphenyl phosphino, diphenyl phosphino ferrocene. Diphenyl phosphino ferrocene. Here it is the comp compound, ferrocene compound. So one of the compound having the PPH2. Again, iron. It is the PPH2. Okay. Now here the uh, diphenyl phosphine, diphenyl phosphino ferrocene complexes. So here it, it enhances the electron density on the metal atom. That's why we use it, these ligands or palladium catalyzed reactions. Okay, as a uh, like uh, supportive ligands. Okay, sometimes they are used in the you know, like uh, uh, very interesting reactions. PD2 DBA. Here DBA indicates a uh, dibenzylidine acetone. Dibenzylidine acetone. So this is called DBA. So whenever we use the like uh, we we will prepare the palladium zero catalyst in in situ manner from the palladium two palladium dichloride with the reaction of a dibenzylidine acetone. Okay. Now here it is the benzylidine compound with the acetone. So dibenzylidine acetone. Two, three moles of dibenzylidine acetone treated with palladium Cl2. Now we will get the palladium 2 DBA taken thrice. DBA taken thrice. It is also palladium 0 catalyst. Palladium 0 complex. All these are the palladium 0 ligands. Palladium 0 ligands. So some of the ligands we are used in the like palladium plus 2 oxidation state. Those are uh, palladium Cl2. Like a palladium OAC taken thrice. Palladium Cl2. 
okay so palladium cl2 they are used in the like a uh, uh, like neutral lactic ligand pph3 or sometimes palladium cl2 dppf or palladium cl2 then dppe okay such type of ligands are used in the like palladium 2 complexes palladium 2 complexes so these are the very useful uh, ligands which are used in the carbon carbon uh, new bond new cc bond formation palladium catalyzed reactions okay now uh, uh, now onwards I, I would like to explain uh, each and every topic like a uh, suzuki reaction hick reaction sonagasira reaction still reaction very clearly with minimum like a uh, five to ten number of examples okay so this is the basic introduction regarding to the uh, past fine like a palladium catalyzed reaction ligands as well as uh, their synthesis of the manner okay again uh, bef uh, before ending the topic now i'll give the a very simple information all these ligands are preservating that means um, uh, like uh, it takes uh, two days three days four days it requires uh, to preserve the two to three days four days it is difficult that's why all these ligands are prepared in situ manner so whenever we want the ligand then ready to prepare the methodology then it is called in situ reaction so okay all these type of ligands are synthesized by the in situ method okay so this is the basic information okay thank you for watching